Sir Frederick Banting Frederick Grant Banting was born on November 14, 1891, in the bedroom of a farmhouse near Alliston, Ontario. He was the youngest of five children of William Thompson Banting and Margaret Grant. He received his primary education at public schools and then went to the University of Toronto to study divinity. However, he soon transferred to the study of medicine. In 1916, he received his Bachelor of Medicine degree and immediately joined the Canadian Army Medical Corps, where he served in France during the First World War. When the war ended, Banting returned to Canada and was for a short time a medical practitioner in London, Ontario. He then took up the study of orthopedic medicine at the Hospital for Sick Children in Toronto. As a physician, he became greatly interested in diabetes. Previous work had identified a hormone called insulin that was secreted by the pancreas and helped to control metabolism of sugars. Attempts to supply this hormone to diabetics through the feeding of fresh pancreas or pancreas extracts had failed, presumably because the insulin had been destroyed before it could be absorbed into the bloodstream. Determined to solve this problem, Banting set out on a quest for a method of extracting and purifying insulin. He came up with an idea, but needed the facilities, fundings, and help to test it. He spoke with a man named J.J. MacLeod, a professor of physiology at the University of Toronto. Seeing the potential of this work, MacLeod gave Banting the facilities needed for his experiment, and appointed Dr. Charles Best, then a medical student, as his assistant. Banting and Best began by doing research on dogs. They would start by artificially inducing diabetic tendencies in these dogs and then inject them with their experimental extracts of insulin. In the beginning, this work showed little promise and many dogs died. However, by the fall of 1921, things were looking up. The blood sugar levels in the dogs had begun to drop off and they were having fewer and fewer bad reactions to the injections. Soon they were confident enough to administer insulin to the first human, a 14-year-old boy dying of diabetes. It was a success, and a month later, Banting and Best published their first paper on the discovery. In 1923, Banting and MacLeod were awarded the Nobel Prize in Medicine, each sharing the prize money with the assistants who had helped with the research. This caused some controversy, as Banting and Best would later claim that MacLeod played only a minimal role in the discovery. The discovery of insulin was one of the most revolutionary moments in the history of medicine. It took some time to work out the proper dosages and to develop the manufacturing processes needed, but its introduction seemed literally like a miracle. One year the disease was an automatic death sentence, and the next, diabetic people, even children, had hopes of living full and productive lives. After completing his work on insulin, Banting, then the chair of the Department of Medicine at the Banting and Best Institute, would turn his attention to research involving silicosis, cancer, and the mechanism of drowning. In 1934, he married Marion Robertson, and their only child, William, was born in 1928. That marriage would end in divorce in 1932, and in 1934, Banting was knighted by King George V. He married his second wife, Henrietta Ball, in 1937, and soon became interested in aerial medicine, studying high-altitude combat pilots and the physiological problems associated with flying. This research led to his involvement with the Royal Canadian Air Force and ironically would lead to his death as he was killed in 1941 in a, war a wartime aerial disaster, his plane destroyed while on official military mission. Frederick Banting left behind quite a legacy. His name is immortalized on schools and institutes all over Canada and the world. In life, and even in death, he received numerous awards and recognitions by the medical world, and even has his own crater on the moon. His work revolutionized medicine and gave hope to millions.